All right. All right. Welcome, good, welcome good. to welcome to Moron ranks a Pokemon he doesn't know. That's what I was gonna call the stream, but Twitch didn't let me, so I had to call it Ult Uncultured Guy instead. So basically, Jacob knows jack shit about Gen Nine. He knows more about the women than he does the Pokemon. So what we're gonna do? <laughs> yeah, that, is that's I'm gonna true. Have him rank, so I'm gonna have him give a tier list on the Pokemon, just based off his knowledge. I'm not gonna tell him what the public opinion is or like if they're good or not. It's just going to be him, the Pokemon, it's typing, and a Dex entry Yeah, That's all the information he's getting. Um, so, uh, let's see, I'm gonna, I, ha I haven't named the tiers yet, so let's call this one Game Freaky Cook. <laughs> we'll, we'll call <laughs> this, we'll call this one, um... Friend. Friend, yep. We'll call he's this... A, he's a friend. This one will be, I, I mean, it's alright. <laughs> uh, this one is mid. And this, and this one, one is, is um, back back to Pal World with you. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> All right. So uh, should we start? Yep. Uh, well, first off, right. I noticed there's like Tauros. That's just that's just, that's just a black Tauros. Who gave okay, Tauros so, the N-word pass, Seb? So basically, Tauros got a regional form, and he got three variants. He has the normal one, which is the one in the center. There's the water one, which is the one. On the right. I'm guessing that and one has got blue accents. Yeah, and then here, let me uh, double check the middle, the other guy for you, because I don't remember what typing he it is. Looks, he looks fire to me. Well, it's, yeah, that's the thing. It's either fire or it's fighting, and I think it is. Hold on, let me let me pull it in a new tab. Let me let me see. Haldan, Toros, fire. Is that there? Yep, it's fire. Yep, there you go. Okay, well, I'm gonna just put these all in a uh, friend because I, I don't know, regional variants are kind of uncreative because you know you're just taking an old ass Pokemon and you're like you know recoloring them and putting like a few extra things on them. They're all right. Okay, I don't know why they have a uh, Paldean and Wooper here and then not Quadsire, but sure, yeah, friend. you have Paldean and Wooper, which is just yeah. And then okay, this so guy. the deal with okay, so. Basically, Ursaring got a regional form in Legends, which was Ursaluna. So what mm -hmm. they did was they took that and they said, let's make it Halloween. And there's an event you can do in the first DLC where if you talk to this lady, you'll explore the scary force and you'll encounter this thing. You have to kill it and then catch it. Um... And it's fucking... You can look at the design. Uh, it's normal ground. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. Are you, you going to read right, the no dex entries for these guys or what? Or are you just gonna well, do it for the of, new ones? Well, here, no, no, here's the thing. It's out of order, so like them guys kind of fucked me up. So okay. Well, here we have the cat that I like. <laughs> yeah, there's Sprigatito. Um. So I like the cat. Pure, yeah, yeah, pure grass type for obvious reasons. It's a fucking starter. Yep. And uh, let's see. Its fluffy fur is similar in composition to plants. This Pokemon frequently washes its face to keep it from drying out. Yeah, that's, that's cat. But that's average cat behavior, pretty much. Yeah, but, you know, it's shiny. It's fucking atrocious. It's just, it's like a darker shade of green, and then oh. purple eyes. It's like one of the worst kinds of color. Like one of the worst kinds of green. Um, yeah. What's this Pokemon? Uh, Flor Florigato. It's like you know the puberty stage. Still pure grass, and let me see here. The hardness of Florigato's fur depends on the Pokemon's mood. When Florigato is prepared to battle, its fur becomes pointed and needle sharp. Looks mid. I just, yeah, I just imagine you fucking grab the thing and you shove it. You, you grab the thing and then you stab someone with its ears because they're pointy. And, um, I don't want to look at this thing either. We <laughs> have Scarada? Yeah. Yeah, it, you know, it's you know, Grass. Back, back to Power World with you. <laughs> <laughs> Because with uh, people, people keep making porn of this thing, and I'm sick of it. <laughs> yeah. Skillful misdirection. It rigs foes with pollen, packed with flower bombs. Nascarada sets off the bombs before it's foes realize what's going on. Hmm. I don't want to know what's going on. <laughs> Personally. <laughs> Let's right. see. Uh, chat member says, uh, Claude Sire is later in the decks. Zeppi says, Claude Sire goes in Game Freaky Cooked, because it's got vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, right. this thing just looks like a fucking tomato. You go in mid. Well, that's Fue Coco. It's our fire starter. And, let's see here. 
Its flame sack is small, so energy is always leaking out. The energy is released from the dent atop by Coco's head and it flickers to and fro. Bro, I do not want to know about this thing, sack. Go back. You get to stay in mid. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. All right. Here's our mid evolution Crocolart, which looks like it's wearing a sombrero, by the way. Okay. Well, sombrero gets a pass for me. Well, still pure fire. Let's see here. The, the combination of Crocolart's fire energy and overflowing vitality has caused an egg shaped fireball to appear on the Pokemon's head. Huh. Not bad. Wasn't that neat? Yeah. All no, right. That's good. And we got we got an we got an alligator. We have Skeledorge, or as I like to call it, the Foghorn, because if you listen to this thing's cry, it is literally just a Foghorn. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's shiny, it's just like pure pink. Like, just take the red and replace it with pink. Eh, I'll put in friend. Yeah, let's see here. The, the fiery bird changes shape when Skeledorge sings. Rumor has it that the bird was born when the fireball on Skeledorge's head gained a soul. Ow. That kind of goes That's hard. Crazy. Yeah. All right. We now got, we have we, our little uh, got the duck. Quaxley. Yeah, just Quaxley. Just, he's a little friend. But I forgot to mention, Skeledurge is a fire ghost. Ooh, that's cool. It's like uh, it's like uh, Alolan Marowak. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he was fire ghost. Yeah, right. So we have our pure water type. You know, he's standard, whatever. The Pokemon migrated to Paldea from distant lands long ago. The gel secreted by its feather repels water and grime. So he's a clean freak. Um, I like ducks, so you get to go in friend. <laughs> yeah. We have our friend, uh, Quaxwell, who's a, you know, such a stupid bull. name. <laughs> it's Quaxwell. No, I was gonna call I thought you said Quaxwell. I don't, you know, that's a good name, Quaxwell. It's like, what's that's up, That's what man? his name is, Quaxwell. Oh, it is. Oh, I thought you said yeah, Quax. Quaxwell. I thought you said Quaxwell. No, Quaxwell with a W. Okay, that that's exactly what, that's the, that's a good name, Quaxwell. Yeah, let me see here. The hardworking Quaxwell observes people and Pokemon from various regions and incorporates their movement into its own dance routines. Oh, he's a dancer. Okay, well, you get to go in friend then. You can tell that by looking at the next one. Not really. It just looks like a big duck. Well, we have Quaxwell here. That name's he's really stupid, though. <laughs> yeah, water. Dude, his literally his signature move. His signature move is called Aqua Step. Broby stepping. Not on he's me. A water <laughs> no, no. He's a water fighting type. Dancing in ways that evolve far away. Wait, dancing in ways that evoke far away places. His Pokemon mesmerizes all that see it. Flourishes of a decorative water feather slices into its foes. It's all right. Yeah. We have a uh, next tier. This Pokemon, I, this Pokemon I do know. It's the funny pig. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a Lechonk right there. It's just a pig. I don't really know how. I don't really know how she can rank a pig. Yeah, it, it searches for food all day. It possesses a keen sense of smell, but it doesn't use it for anything other than its foraging. Nico Kato energy. Exactly, and then we have a uh, Winkowink, which it has a male and a female form. That's just a bigger pig. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a pig. It's just a pig, bro. I mean, they're just normal types. Like, there's nothing special. It's just a fucking normal type, whatever. Who cares? No, you're going in mid. Yeah, fucking, let me see here. <laughs> the, this Pokemon sends a flower-like scent wafting about well-developed muscles in its legs allow it to leap more than 16 feet with no trouble at all. Damn, this fucker can jump 16 feet, goddamn. Emo pig. All right, now we have our uh, shitty bug types, you know, like your Caterpie and your Weedle. Bro, these, look, these, bro, these look ass. What the fuck? Yeah, well, the, the shitty bug types, but you expect something good? They really are shitty. Hey, at, least yeah, Caterpie, hey, 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 at least Caterpie is, like, iconic, bro. Yeah, you have Tarantula. Back to Power World with you. <laughs> Back to Power. Let's see. <laughs> the ball of threads wrapped around its body is elastic enough to deflect the size of Scyther. This Pokemon's natural- Fuck Okay, no. so Scyther hates this fucking thing. Bro, are you telling me he... Scyther's gonna lose this fucking thing? No way. <laughs> Scyther gets a shit kicked in by this thing? No, Scyther ain't gonna lose to that little bitch. Alright, now we have Spidops, which is again pure bug. And let me see here. Spidops covers its territory in tough, sticky threads to set up for traps intruders. 
Okay. Yeah, well, he's, he's I, have, really... I, I have a trap for you. It's called Back to Pal World. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Alright, we have uh, Nimble here. His name is just Nimble. He's Nimble. Nimble. Alright, your Pal World. Let me see. It has its third set of legs folded up. When it's in a tough spot, this Pokemon jumps over 30 feet using the strength of its legs. Nah. This guy this guy looks kinda cool though. Yeah, we have low t we have low kids, a bug dark type. Okay, that that's kinda cool, actually. Let me see. When it decides to fight all out, it stands on its previously folded legs to enter Pokemon I mean to enter showdown mode. It neutralizes its enemies in short order. Dude, this guy knows about Pokemon Showdown. That's you know, crazy. Yeah, I was about to say, he he he, he can go on the website. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, now we have our Pikachu clone. And I'm not making up, this is the Pikachu clone, uh, Palmy. Uh, yeah, it's the thing that Nomona has. Yeah, yeah, Palmy. It's just pure electric, whatever, nothing special. They all look like Power it, World Mons. <laughs> it has underdeveloped electric sacs on its cheeks. These sacks can produce electricity only if Pommy rubs them fiercely with the pads on its forepaws. I don't want so to hear about this. I don't about sacks again. You're going to Power World, all of you. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even let me finish reading the other three, the other two. Okay, read the other two first. <laughs> yeah, we have we have Pablo, which is an electric fighting type, which I do Pablo? not think we've had before. Yeah, your name your name's Pablo now. No, Pomo, Pomo. Pommy? Not Pablo. No, you're not. No, so I'm, still, I'm still calling it Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> it's an electric fighting type. And when its group is attacked, Pomo is the first to leap into battle, defeating enemies with a fighting technique that utilizes electric shocks. I mean, very uh, Yeah, mid. And then we have Paul Mott. Mott? You like see from how SMT? Maybe. Uh, still an electric fighting, and. This Pokemon normally is slow to react, but once it enters battle, it will strike down its enemies with lightning fast movements. Mid. <laughs> yeah, nah, who fucking cares? Bro, what are these fucking, fucking what are these fucking Sanrio characters right here? Oh, they're just mo they're just mice. We have a Tandem Mouse, which is just pure normal type, and it's two mice. And you wanna know a funny gimmick about this Pokemon? What? When it evolves, there's no evolution animation. It just randomly evolves, and when you check your party, there'll be four mice instead of two. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> do these guys all have unique entries, by the way? I think they do. Bro, I, I, I wouldn't even know. What, what could you say about dude. four mice? The pair sticks together no matter what. They split any fruit that they find exactly in half and then eat it together. It's just a mouse family, then, bro. Well, here's the thing. Normally, they get a family of four, but then if you're really lucky, you get the family of three. They have sex. Yeah, that's that's how that works. <laughs> yeah, no, literally, they fuck in the Pokeball. Like, that's the actual lore. They fuck in the Pokeball. They fuck in the Pokeball. Okay, I, I, like, I like this dog. I've seen him. I'm put him in Cook. Yeah, we, we will skip his next entry. Come on, fucking. We have Fido. Yeah, which is an amazing fairy pun, type. by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a pure fairy type. Let me see here. Uh, the yeast in Fido's breath is useful for cooking, so this Pokemon has been protected by people since long ago. Yeah, it's literally a bread dog. I love it. <laughs> and then you have a uh, Dash Bun. Dash Bun. <laughs> the, the pleasant aroma that emanates from this Pokemon's body helps weed grow. So Dash Bun has been treasured by farming villages. Yeah, that's pretty good. Toby Fox yeah. would be proud. Yeah, they're both pure fairies, so yeah. Alright, then we have a this looks like small a fucking, This looks like a fucking bean, bro. <laughs> it's an olive, I think. Oh, an olive. Well, it's his name is Small Olive, so I can only assume. It's a grass normal. Mm-hmm. Kind of a and... neat, neat typing. Who joined? I don't know. Let me put it. Oh, it's Luke. What's up, Luke? Oh, I forgot Luke, Luke exists. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Alright, let me see here. It protects itself from its enemies by emitting oil from the fruit on its head. This oil is bitter and astringent enough to make someone flinch. Might yeah, great. This thing has auto flinch for attack. cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then we yeah. Have, uh, yeah. Well, what do you think of it? Well, you gotta rank it, Jacob. <laughs> 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 I 
Is that even back to power? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we have, and then you have Dolive. It's still grass normal. I don't know why it has the normal type attached, but whatever. Dolive okay. shares its tasty, fresh scented oil with others. This species has coexisted with humans since times long ago. Yeah, well, how come I haven't fucking heard of it until now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of it. As is it, is it also <laughs> what the fuck? Um, no, this one's back to Power World. Alright. And then we have uh, Arbeliva. And you can make the shitty, uh, and then I saw her face. Now Arbeliva, you can make that shitty pun. I saw someone do that, and I hate them. Yeah, it's alright. Let me see here. This calm Pokemon is very compassionate. It will share its delicious, nutrient-rich oil with me. What's with this Pokemon and oil? What the fuck? Maybe, maybe they're jealous <laughs> if the oil prices went up. This Pokemon I don't loves fucking its care oil, about its goddamn it oil, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, some people really love cooking. Alright. This is weird, because now we have Squawk ability, and it's the fucking same Pokemon, but with four different colors, and they each have their own dex entry. Why? Oh just read the first oh, one. I don't give a shit about all the others. Let's just, just read the fucking green one. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, these Pokemon prefer to live in... Oh, they, they have different habitats. I oh. got you. So the green ones live in cities. They form flocks based on the color of their feathers. Fight over territory. Great. Let's not read the rest of them. Just fucking rank them, bro. They're Power World Mons. Wait, what the fuck? What's oh, this what? thing? Where'd that come from? What the fuck is that? Hold up. Oh, I think, I, I think it belongs over here. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll get to that are... later. All right, so what are these right. sugar sugar cube Pokemon? Uh, these are that's Mackley, and he's literally just sodium chloride. Like, they just took the two elements from the periodic table, combined them. You have Mackley. It's not even a sugar cube. Mid. It's a Mario mushroom. Mid. Let me see here. It was born in a layer of rock salt deep under. It's it's, it's salt. It's oh, not salt. sugar. It's salt. Nah, I like sugar cubes better. <laughs> It was born in a layer of rock salt deep under the earth. This species was particularly treasured in the old days as they would share precious salt. This is making me pretty salty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we have knuckle we have knuckle stack. Oh by the way, rock types. Mackle stack. What the fuck no, is that? Knuckle stack mean? with an N. I don't know. Uh, let me see here. This Pokemon dry cures its prey by spraying salt over them. The curing process steals away the water in the prey's body. Bro's, lit bro's literally a walking pepper spray. <laughs> he just dehydrates his enemies. And then you have a Garganical. You're going to Pal World. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell do you mean going to Pal World? <laughs> you don't like Garganical? Nope. <laughs> Pal World. Garganical will rub its fingertips together and sprinkle injured Pokemon with salt. Even severe wounds will prompt. So this motherfucker goes from drying out his prey to fucking healing his to healing his friends. What the hell happened? How do you heal with salt? Vault? I don't know. Nah, no, this thing looks stupid. Okay. I don't see how people could love this thing. All right, next up we have a char charcadet. Let me guess, it's just a walking piece of charcoal. Uh, that would be uh, my uh, assumption. It's pure fire type, so obviously. And it, it's actually a split evolution. The next two things are two separate things that could evolve into. Mm. According to the Dex entry, burnt charcoal came to life and became a poke. Yeah, it's literally just a burnt piece of charcoal that became a Pokemon. Wow. Possessing a fiery, a fiery fighting spirit, Charcadet mm. will battle even tough opponents. Mid. Mm. So we have the first one, which is Armor Rouge, which is a fire psychic type. And uh, let me see here. Armor Rouge evolved through the use of a set armor that belonged to a distinguished warrior. This Pokemon is incredibly loyal. Yeah, it's alright. And then we have a uh, Seraluge, which is a fire ghost type. I have, which, like, I have it's... seen this dude before. Yeah, he's a. Oh, yeah. He's like, an old set of armor ste steeped in grudges caused this Pokemon evolution. Seraluge cuts his enemies to pieces without mercy. I think we got our next Game Freaky Cooked Pokemon right here. Mm -hmm. Next we have a uh, tad bulb. He's he just. <laughs> 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 <Bubbling. laughs> okay, it floats using the electricity stored in its body. When thunder clouds are around, tad bulb will float higher off the ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nothing. Is, is nothing for you. 
I mean, we couldn't tell you were pure electric types, so I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'm not feeling that design. And then we have a belly bolt, which, uh, fun fact, Jacob, you see those two eyes on the side of it? Yeah. Wait, wait. Yeah. Wait, wait, my AirPod died. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, uh, was... Jacob, you see them? Yeah. Those aren't his real eyes. His real eyes are the two yellow circles above his mouth. Oh, didn't know mm. that. I didn't either. I found that out, and I'm like, "What the fuck? Why does he have those eyes on the side?" Then this guy's a, this guy's a friend. Right. Yeah, he's a friend. Let me see here. What appeared to be eyeballs are actually organs for discharging the electricity generated by belly bolts, belly button dive. Yeah, no, that's, those things aren't eyes. Meh. So all right. Not gonna stop me from liking it though. It's, it's a decent design. This is right, so this is the closest thing we're gonna get to the regional bird because nobody knows what the fuck the regional bird is this time around. Well, it's clearly not these fuckers. No, yeah. we have a watch troll, which no thoughts in those eyes. I'm looking at Sarah B right now. There's no fucking thoughts in these eyes. <laughs> no thoughts, head empty. Yeah. When its wings catch the wind, the bones within produce electricity. This Pokemon dives into the ocean, catching prey by electrocuting them. Dang, this guy, this guy kind of goes hard. Yes. He's a fucking bird. He's a fucking bird with Zeus powers. Well, you, you couldn't tell electric flying, but we have his evolution. Kill a watch roll. They literally just added kill to the name and fucking boom. Let's see. Yeah, it uses know. its. Oh, god damn it. It's another sack one. It uses its throat sack to store electricity generated by its wings. There's hardly any oil in its feathers, so it's a poor swimmer. Well, it's a bird. I wouldn't expect it to know how to fucking swim. Nah, he, he looks cool. I know, but I don't give a damn if the thing's a poor swimmer. It's a bird. I expect it to fly, not swim. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now we have the dog. Mastiff. Well, we already had a dog. There's two we dogs. We have a new dog. Mastiff. Let's see. It always scowls in an attempt to make opponents take it seriously, but even crying children will burst into laughter when they see Mastiff's face. So he tries to be intimidating, and he fucking fails every time. How world. And then we have a Mabos, Ma Mabostiff, Mabostiff, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's a, uh, let me see here. It's a pure dark type, so. Let me see here. This Mabostiff loves playing with children, though usually gentle. It takes on an intimidating look when protecting its family. Eh, that's commendable. It's just, he's, he's a dog. He's a, he's a good he's boy. He's just a, he's a, all right, keep moving him back. Keep, keep moving that guy back. Wait, that's not Shrudel. Where the fuck Shrudel? Oh no, that's Shrudel. Oops. Oh. All right. So that's Shrudel. He's a poison normal type. And uh, let me see here. Though usually a mellow Pokemon, it will sink its sharp, poison-soaked front teeth into any that anger it, causing paralysis in the object of its ire. So don't piss it off, or you get paralyzed. Mid. And then we have its uh, evolution, Grafii. I, I think that's how you means. pronounce it, Grafii. Mm -hmm. Still familiar. poison. Still poison normal or whatever. Uh, the color of its poison, the color of the poisonous saliva depends on what the Pokemon eats. Grafii oh, covers its that. fingers in saliva and draws patterns on trees in the forest. Okay, so basically, in a. Uh, there's a little area, of, there's like a forest area where all the trees are painted in colors. This motherfucker did that. Alright. <laughs> I, I don't need to explain myself. <laughs> yeah, we have a Bramblin, which is a grass ghost type, and there's an IRL Tumbleweed. Why? Why do, we need a, <laughs> why do we need a Pokemon for Tumbleweed? I don't know. <laughs> it's lit there's, no, there's nothing special about it, it's just a fucking Tumbleweed. Alright. It, it, yeah. it, a soul unable to move on to the afterlife was blown around by the winds until it got tangled up with dried grass and became a Pokemon. Man, I could, bro, I could, fuck, bro, I could fucking slap a sticker on my hairbrush and I'd be like, that's, oh yeah, that's a Pokemon. <laughs> I'll say, yeah, that's a human being. Sure. And then we have uh, its evolution, Bramblegast, which is just a bigger tumbleweed. <laughs> Let's make it, it bigger. It will open the branches on its head to envelop its prey, 
Once it absorbs all the life energy it needs, it expels the prey and discards it. Bro, you cannot be fucking serious. <laughs> Why did they do this? <laughs> Alright, so, okay, so, okay, so this one is weird. Because this is not a regional form for Tentacruel. This is just a similar looking Pokemon that is not Tentacruel. Uh... Oh yeah, it's one of those. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, we're gonna see this guy. We're gonna see a situation like this come up again later. But for all intents and purposes, this is not Tentacruel. This is a Toad School. That sounds fucking it's a, stupid. It's a gas ground type, and according to the decks, though it looks like Tentacruel, Toad School is a completely different species. Its legs may be thin, but it can run at a speed of thirty miles per hour. Well, I can tell you what isn't cool. This Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Funny. its evolution, a uh, toad scroll, still grass ground, and uh. What the fuck? Wow, good one. Good one. <laughs> good one, Gayfrey. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. It coils its ten tentacles around its prey and sucks out their nutrients, causing it the prey pain. The folds along the rim of its head are a popular delicacy. Eh, it's alright. Oh, really? This guy gets the approval? Not much of an approval, but enough that he can be in all right tier. All right, we have a, another crab Pokemon. If we haven't had enough already, we have Cloth, which is just a pure rock type. He's just a fucking big ass crab. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Cloth hangs upside down from cliffs, waiting for its prey. But Cloth can't remain in this position for long because its blood rushes to its head. So he's a fucking idiot. He's a friend. He looks like a friend to me. <laughs> all right. Now we have uh, this actual letdown of an evolution. We have Capsa Kid. <laughs> oh, I oh, fucking God. heard about this thing. I forgot from where, though. Uh, the more sunlight... Wait, wait. Traditional Paldean dishes can be extremely spicy because they include the shed front teeth of Capsa Kid among their ingredients. So you eat this fucker's teeth? Like, that's no joke. You just eat this fucker's teeth. All right. <laughs> Power World. <laughs> Jacob's like, don't take me to Paldea anytime soon. I want to eat this fucker's teeth. These are, these are both Power World Mons right here. Alright, and then we have uh, Scovalian, which is our first ever grass fire type. Yeah, and it's on this fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, let me see. The redhead converts spicy chemicals into fire energy and blasts the surrounding area with a super spicy stream of flame. The green head has turned vicious due to the spicy chemicals stimulating its brain. Once it goes on a rampage, there's no stomping it. Okay, how tall is this fucking thing? Let me tell you. Bro, they, they're they tried really it fucking hard to make this thing sound badass. <laughs> Dude, this thing is 2'11". This thing's not even 3 feet tall. You're expecting to be intimidated by a 2 foot 11 little piece of fucking pepper? They're, 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 try, they're trying so hard to make this thing sound badass. But that, it's like if, uh, you know, I took a shit and I tried bro. to make it sound epic. <laughs> Alright, like, now we no. have, uh... Well, speaking of okay, shit... <laughs> Yeah, no, this, this Pokemon literally rolls. Up. Oh, this is, oh, that's hilarious, bro. Dude, I'm looking at it. It's shiny, just takes the bo the bowl of shit and makes it a ball of gold. Wow. Well, mm. well, you get the opposite of gold for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me see. It's, well, it's, it's bug type. You say bronze. Uh, it rolls its mud ball around while the energy it needs for evolution matures. Eventually, the time comes for it to evolve. It evolves? And then we have Rapska. And let me see here. It's a bug psychic, and the body that supports the ball barely moves. Therefore, it is thought that the true body of the Pokemon is actually... So this is another Parasect situation. Mmm, you get to go in mid. You're a little bit luckier. Yeah, and uh, you, you're only cool because you have the Parasect lore of the bug is dead and the fucking ball of shit controls it. Well, the reason why it's cool is because it's Psychic type. And that look, that's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> there was there was anything else that'd be fucking lame and shit, but because it's psychic type, <laughs> yeah, it just used to be the most broken type of the fucking game. You're yeah, cool. Yep. Right. Now we have, in my opinion, my least favorite Pokemon, <laughs> Little. It looks fucking dumb. I also I, think it no... look, I also think it looks dumb. Wait, wrong Pokemon. It looks... it... I don't know how I keep yeah. doing that. It, it, it's a it's a pure psychic type and. Uh, Huh. Little's toes levitate about half an inch above the ground because of the psychic powers emitted from the frills of the Pokemon's belly. So why is it pure bug or whatever it's pure psychic? I don't know. And then we have a uh, Espathra. Wait, Espathra. 
Esper throw. Yeah, that's a dumb Hans name. Yeah, it's still pure psychic, and uh, it immobilizes opponents by bathing them in psychic power from its large eyes. Despite its appearance, it has a vicious temper. This thing does not have a big set of eyes. Bullshit. Um. Well, you get to go in mid then. <laughs> yeah. So nah, yeah. All right. Next up, Tinka Tink. Oh, well, this he's thing. A, he's a little guy. He, he's a little okay. guy. He's a fairy steel type, which you're, is like the most you're, broken you're, you're combo I've ever Pokemon. heard of. Yeah, it's like the most broken type I've ever heard, because fairy steel... Oh. It swings its handmade hammer around to protect itself, but the hammer is often stolen by Pokemon that eat metal. The Pokemon eat metal? I don't know. I mean, I guess they I eat... Know. I mean, they, I mean, they eat iron. Does that count? <laughs> sure. Uh, we have Tinkatuff. Still fairy steel, whatever. Uh, this Pokemon will attack groups of Penny Ward and Bisharp, gathering metal from their from them. This thing fucking kills Bisharp just to make its hammer. Holy shit! Right, you're on a power world then. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have a Tinkatung. Yeah, which I want. I, people, I keep saying people want this thing for Smash for some reason. The intelligent Pokemon has a very daring disposition. It knocks rocks into the sky with its hammer, aiming for flying Corviknight. Okay, so now he upgrades, and now he kills Corviknight for the hammer. Holy shit! Well, Dude, you can if you're be a, a steel friend, Pokemon, I run the fuck away. <laughs> if you are a steel Pokemon, run the fuck away. <laughs> run away. All right, so we got a we got a wiener. So, uh, remember what I said about Toad oh. Scroll? Yeah. Uh, imagine, yeah, imagine that, but with Diglett. So um, this just looks weird. No, you're on a power we, world, both of you. We have a we have a a Wiglet, which is a pure water type. And why uh, water type, bro? That doesn't make any fucking sense. It's a wiener, dude. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Though it looks like Diglett, Wiglet no is a from species. <laughs> The resemblance seems to be a coincidental result of environmental adaptation. Why the fuck is there a Pokemon like that? <laughs> I don't know. And then we have a Wug Trio. Ew. <laughs> it's a uh, still pure water, and uh, it has a vicious temperament. Contrary to what its appearance may suggest, it wraps its long bodies around prey, then drags the prey oh, into its no. den. Hell no, I don't want to get wrapped up by wieners, bro. That's not good. Hell no. Dude, can you put Lugtrio in what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, Lugtrio should go in the what the fuck. <laughs> we got a bird up next? Yeah, we have Bomb Birdio. This thing is literally a terrorist. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, it's okay. a flying dark type. Ooh, okay, you get, to, you get to go in, uh, you get to go in, like, friend. <laughs> yeah, Bomb Birdio uses the apron on its chest to bundle of food. Which he carries back to its nest. Enjoys dropping things that make loud noise. Dude, he's literally a terrorist. He likes dropping shit that makes loud noise to scare people. Right, he's a you're, fucking you're, asshole. Alright, you're a friend then. <laughs> I love assholes. <laughs> no. He's a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm guessing these two are the same Pokemon. Uh, okay, I'm gonna explain how this works. So basically, this get the gimmick of this Pokemon is that when it evolves, it's the same shit, but with a heart. But its ability makes us that if you switch it out and switch it back in, it it turns into the third thing. Oh, interesting. So we have a Finison, which I think is our first ever dolphin Pokemon. Mm, I it's like a pure water. Its water ring is made from seawater mixed with a sticky fluid that Finison secretes from its. Ill. It's disgusting. I don't want to know that. I didn't know. I didn't mean to know that. But I do like yeah. dolphins, so you get to be friend. It's a dolphin. And then we have a Palafin Zero Form, which is the same shit, but with a heart on its chest. You get to go it's in. It's still pure water, and uh, this Pokemon changes its appearance if it hears its allies calling for help. Palafin will never show anybody its moment of transformation. Yeah, it's just and a And then we have a Palafin Hero Mode. This Pokemon's ancient genes have awakened. It is now so extraordinarily strong that it can easily lift a cruise ship with one fin. Oh, this guy's a legend. Yeah. No wonder I see him in Shout Out all the time. Exactly. <laughs> and then you have a uh, the room, which is car. I think it's like discount serious? car. Or whatever. It's a, a skilled poison type. Dude, if you like play the game, there's a set of like story missions where you have to go deal with the evil team. Each oh, boss yeah. has a fucking car Pokemon. 
and like they take the Varun yep. and then they attach it to a giant ass car. And that's a whole ass Pokemon you gotta kill. Mid. Yeah. So uh, let me see here. The steel the steel section is Varun's actual body. The, this Pokemon clings to rocks and converts the minerals within it into fuel. Wow. Okay. And then, like, have, uh, and then we have a and then we have a Reverun. Really dumb names, but I actually think this guy kind of looks sick, so he can go in all It right. creates a gas out of poison and minerals from rocks. It then detonates the gas in its cylinder, now numbering eight to generate energy. Okay. That's kind of cool. All right. Okay, now we have a uh, Cyclozar, which uh, the legendary Pokemon are based off this guy. One Ooh. is like its, a its ancestor from the past, and one of it, its descendant of the future. Wow, why does it That's... look so lame? <laughs> well, because the legendaries look better. Yeah, this guy. It's a this dragon. Guy... Yeah, looks mid. Holy shit, that's a horrible ass type of dragon normal. What the fuck? Dragon normal. <laughs> I, I can think of another dragon normal type already. That fucking that's that fucking to... serpent guy no. from Gen Seven. So Viper? Yeah, I just did. I no. just say his name. Did I just say his name? I think. What? Who? Wait, Cosmo? Are you talking about Cosmo? It's no. Jumper. Who? Yeah, Drampa, the, the the serpent guy from oh, yeah. Gen Seven. He's a fucking normal. Oh, okay. he's normal dragon. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that one. Apparently, Cyclozar has yes, been allowing man. people to ride on its back since ancient times. Depictions of this have been found in pit in ten thousand year old mural. Oh, okay, never okay, mind. Never mind. It's bootleg Yoshi. You go into the Pal world. Hold oh. on. Let me see. <laughs> okay, so first of all, this thing is five three. And it weighs 140 pounds. So it's a small Yoshi then. <laughs> All right, totally now, we have a, now we have a Orthworm. It's literally just a fucking worm. Wow, what do you have yeah, to rank that? It's a, it's, it's a pure steel type. Uh, when attacked, this Pokemon will wield the tendrils on its body like fists and pell the opponent with a storm of punches. Okay, so you know that you so see like. Uh, so you, you see the steel bit on its neck? I think so. I think there's holes in there, and then little arms come out of the holes. Okay, well that that, that definitely increased my opinion on him. He's fucking Jojo, but a worm. Yeah, right, now we have a Glimet. This doesn't even look like a Pokemon. Just, it's a little flower with a sack at the end of it. That's not a fucking Pokemon, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> what do you well, mean? It's not it's a... there, it these, these aren't Pokemon. What the fuck is this? Gen 9, that's what it is. It is Pokemon. That is not a fucking Pokemon, bro. What the shit is that? Well, oh, it's yeah. literally a flower with a sack attached to it. It absorbs nutrients from cave walls. The petals it wears are made of crystallized poison. <laughs> crystallized poison? Man, you're How really you trying to make this poison? thing sound cool. And then we have a Glamora. Let me see here. Glamora's petals are made of crystallized poison energy. It has recently become evident that these petals resemble Terra Jewels. Okay, weird. Is that another dog? Uh, that's a dead dog. Dead dog? Oh, hell yeah, he's a friend then. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, Glamora is a uh, rock poison. Rock poison? That's cool. Yeah. And then, uh, Greybeard is pure ghost type. Friend. Let me see here. It is said that a dog Pokemon that died in the wild without ever interacting with a human was reborn of this Pokemon. That goes hard. <laughs> and then we have a uh, Houndstone, which literally has a fucking gravestone on his head. That's Hell sad yeah. as fuck. Dude, it's not even like a ghost. It's a skeleton covered in hair and a fucking tombstone. Holy shit. Yeah, that goes hard. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Game, Game Freak Cook. Yeah, let me see here. A lovingly mourned Pokemon was reborn as Houndstone. It doesn't like anyone touching the... The pro turbans. Don't touch the fucking gravestone on its head. Don't touch it, okay? <laughs> that was a fucking skeleton doll. Those are always cool. Wait, but I'm confused. How is Graveyard a Pokemon that died without human interaction, but then Houndstone is a Pokemon that died and everyone fucking loved it? I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, now we have a uh, Flamingo. Bro, that's just those fucking things I see in people's gardens. What the shit is this doing in here? It's a Flamingo. It's a flamingo, Jacob. You, you guys, a flamingo is an actual bird, right? I know, but it looks like those fucking flamingo-like things that people put Dude, in their gardens. It? It's Dude, a flamingo. Is, Jacob, here's the funny part. 
they just took the word flamingo and removed the N from it, so it's flamigo. I know, it's fucking I'm not- I mean, that's a no. funny- that's a funny pun, I guess. Nope. <laughs> yeah, because he's a friend, apparently, because amigo is friend in Spanish. Well, oh, I, I don't know, I kind of want to put him in friend just because his- that's his name. Do you would like it? <laughs> he's a flying fighting type. A <laughs> fighting or... type one? Okay, I didn't even know it's type, what the hell? Thanks yeah, to that's not looking like a fighting type. Of their known... What the fuck? What? Oh, what the? No, 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 hold on, hold on, Jacob, hold on. I'm gonna screen share real quick. I need you to look at this to make sure I'm not tripping balls. Hold on. Okay. I need to. to yeah, I need you to take a look at this. Um. Okay. You you, you see that right? It's uh, what does it say? Thanks to a behavior of an of theirs known as. The fuck is that? Synchronizing? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck's with the weird uh, text around it? Oh, I think Sarah be broke. <laughs> Classic. Um, uh... Alright, you, you, well, you get a friend <laughs> for me. You get a friend pass for me. Alright, what's next? Uh, next we have, uh, Citadel. Looks oh stupid. my god, it's Chinese horrifying. Oh no. What color is it? Is it green? No, no, it's not that it's not the color. It just removes the it removes the pupils. It makes his eyes appear gray. It looks horrifying. Oh my god, that sounds horrifying. I wanna see. Right? It, it remo <laughs> you hear I'll screen share it for you. Oh, but I'm dude, not, they, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> they fucking removed the pupils from this thing. <laughs> It's shiny that it has no pupils. Oh, that was kind of cool, dude. It looks horrifying. Yeah, how do you get it from that? I like how I like uh, that it looks horrifying. <laughs> um. Okay, so it's ice type. Uh, this species left the ocean and began living on land a very long time ago. It seems to be closely related to Whalmer. Hmm. Eh, it can go in mid. Alright, and then we have a Satitan. Damn, that's a cool ass shiny, holy shit. <laughs> Wait, we go from a weird, a creepy shiny to a horror shiny? Yeah, because this one actually lets his eyes be normal, the other one fucking drains the life out of its eyes and it's horrifying. Hmm, looks alright. Yeah, let me see here. Not really, what do you mean over, uh, really? This Pokemon wanders around snowy ice areas. It protects its body with powerful muscles and a thick layer of fat under its skin. <laughs> He's fat. Mm. <laughs> Damn. Oh Alright, now we have the... Uh... Wait, where'd you rank it? Hold on, I don't have the tier list screen strip. Hold on, let me watch... Let me, let me pull it back up. Okay. Alright, next up, we have a uh, Veluza. Which is the most robotic looking fish I've ever seen. Wow, he's a loot. Just kidding. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, cancel myself. It's a water psychic type, and apparently, when Veluza discards type? unnecessary flesh, its mind becomes honed and its psychic power increases. The spare flesh has a mild but delicious flavor. Um. You're alright. <laughs> yeah, nothing special about you. Who's this fat fuck? Uh, that's Don Dozo. And it's tied into the next guy, Tatsugiri, in a way. So basically, what happens is, if you put Don Dozo and Tatsugiri next to each other in a double battle, what happens is Tatsugiri hops into Don Dozo's mouth, and then they team up, and Tatsugiri raises all its fucking stats. Well, wow. I don't know what's here. <laughs> because basically, what happens is that Don Dozo is the muscle, and Tatsugiri is the brain. And what Tatsugiri does is that he lures in prey. By pretending to be a dead fish inside Don Dozo's mouth, <laughs> so when they approach, fucking Don, Don Dozo Don, kills it. Don and they Bozo. <laughs> yeah, that's his name, Don Dozo. No, Don Bozo. <laughs> Don, Don Bozo. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're, so you're going to mid. He starts to like its boss and follows it loyally. Though powerful, Don Dozo is apparently not very smart. You're all power world mons. Power and then world. we have a uh, where is he? Where the fuck is he? Oh yeah, Tatsugiri. 
So he has three different forms. You have the droopy form. The orange form, uh, the raspberry form, and the banana form. Yeah, you have the orange one, which is called the curly form. The pink one, which is called the droopy form. And the yellow one, which is called the stretchy form. The pea, the pea form. There we go. And this, here. this is a small dragon Pokemon. It lives inside the mouth of Dondoza to protect itself from enemies on the outside. Okay. Okay, welcome to the uh, regional evolution now. Oh boy. We, to we start go. off, we have, we have uh, Annihilate, which is, if you couldn't tell, fucking Primeape, obviously. He looks pretty cool. He's a, a fighting ghost type, and according to this, when its anger rose beyond a critical point, this Pokemon gained power that it unfettered by the limits of... So he got so mad he fucking died. That's literally what <laughs> happened. <laughs> he got so mad, he, he died, and became a ghost. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's funny. <laughs> and what's funnier, too, is that this isn't some new lore. This is some shit they mentioned. Because in, in, in Sun and Moon, it's mentioned that Primeape can get so angry that it fucking dies. Oh. So this is just like... What happens if you take that and then you go go along with it? Man, I wish I could get stronger by dying. <laughs> Alright, now we have a Claude Sire, which is the evolution of Paldea and Wooper. Yeah, this guy this guy's um, uh, this guy's goaded. I used him a yeah. lot in Showdown. <laughs> He's a poison ground type, and uh, when attacked, this Pokemon will retaliate by sticking thick spines out from its body. It's a risky move that puts everything on the line. Okay, so you see the white circles above his head? Yeah, I see it. Uh, little tentacles come out from them, and that's a thing it does. Bro, he has fucking spikes. That's cool. Yeah. All Next right. up, you have a Farigaraf, which the reason it sounds weird is because it's one of those things where if you read it backwards, it's the same shit. Yeah, it's a palindrome, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a normal psychic, and uh, let me see here. I mean, it's just a giraffe. What else can I say about it? <laughs> it looks really now that the brain waves from the head and the tail are synced up, the psychic power of this Pokemon is ten times stronger than Giraffe Riggs. Oh, familiar. Mid. <laughs> so the tail and the head just fucking linked up. That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, so there's two versions of the Dunsparce. One with two segments, one with three segments. I'm gonna just see what it says. This Pokemon uses its hard tail to make its nest by boring holes into bedrock deep underground. Damn, this thing can break bedrock? Holy shit. Wow, I need this guy in Minecraft. <laughs> You're my friend now. You can fucking it literally said, Like, I'm not making it up. That's the word they use in the decks. They use bedrock. Alright, he's my friend then. Alright. Next up, we have uh, King Gambit. What a very good name. Oh yeah, I forgot yeah. half these Pokemon have stupid names. Though it commands a massive army in battle, it's not skilled at devising complex strategies. It just uses brute strength to keep pushing. So he's kind of stupid. You're a friend. <laughs> also, the way you evolve this fucker is dumb. What you need to do is you have to give it the item, the King's Crest, and then you have to go around and kill three bishop that have like a little army of pennywars around them. <laughs> what the hell? I know, it's weird. All right, That's Jacob, bullshit. congratulations. We have made it into the Paradox Pokemon. Oh, good, this. Oh. The names. Alright, first off, we have Great Tusk, which, if you couldn't tell, that's just Dawn Fan. It's just a slightly cooler Dawn Fan. <laughs> it's a ground fighting type, and, uh. S sightings of this Pokemon have occurred in recent years. The name Great Tusk was taken from a creature listed in a certain book. I never liked the names of these Pokemon. Alright, next up, we have Screamtail, which is just Jigglypuff. And, uh, it is, a uh, very psychic. It resembles a mysterious Pokemon described in a paranormal magazine as a Jigglypuff from- Oh, these- Oh, these text entries are lame. It just says, it resembles this Pokemon from this fucking book. Well, the screen someone traded- One of my friends uh, traded me screen tail, and I was wondering what it was, and I was like, oh my goodness. Alright, next up we have Brute Bonnet, which is just Among Us. It's a grass dart, and it is possible that the creature listed as Brute Bonnet in a certain book could actually be this Pokemon. Okay, I mean, you could just, wow. you could just skip that. Okay. Alright, well, we're gonna skip the dex entries. We'll just skip it. That's right, just, next that's, up, that's we have, just a mischievous. Yeah, care. that's Fluttermane, that's a ghost fairy type. 
Alright, this is the only one I'll interject in. This thing is a fucking beast and competitive, and it got fucking banned. Oh, oh yeah, I remember that. Alright, we have Slitherwing, that's just Bull Corona. Yep. Okay. Um, what the well, here's fuck? the thing I find weird. <laughs> Out of all Pokemon, why did Slitherwing, I mean, why did Volcarona and Dogfan get both a prehistoric one and then a post-historic one or whatever? Futuristic awesome. one? Yeah. Slitherwing, that's bug fighting. We have a Sandy Shock, which is just a Magneton. Looks, and it's it an electric stupid. ground. Um, I'm sorry, I don't vibe with this design. Power World. Future a bit lamer with the name, because they all start with iron. Iron. That's just a penguin. That's just that, that's just a deli bird, but lame. <laughs> a deli bird. All right, we have a. Uh, let me see. Here. We have iron treads. That's ground steel. Iron bundle. That's deli bird. Ice yeah. water. Iron hands. Well, that's a cool name. Iron hands. That's a. Uh, uh, Makihita. Uh. Well, this is. Well, I like high dragons, so you can be a friend. Yeah, iron. That's Fighting Electric, Iron Jugulus, Dark Flying, that's High Dragon, Iron mm. Moth, Ocarona, Fire Poison. That's cool. Iron Iron Thorns, Rock Electric, that's Tyranitar. You know, you guys all get to be in a friend, because you look good. Alright, now we go into our uh, pseudo-legendary of this game. And it's, it's uh, stupid. <laughs> it's Frigid, it's, well, we have a Frigibax, which is a Dragon Ice type. It was the Frigibax absorbs heat through its dorsal fin and converts the heat into ice energy. The higher the temperature, the more energy Frigibax stores. Looks stupid though. You look, next like, we you, have, you look like a Power World Pokemon. <laughs> we have Arctabax, Dragon mm -hmm. Ice. Art, Arctabax freezes the air around it, protecting the face with an ice mask and turning into dorsal fin. Wait, turning its dorsal fin into a blade of ice. Eh. And then we have a uh, Backscalibur. You telling me this is a pseudo legendary? Yes, this is our pseudo legendary. That that is the like most unimpressive pseudo legendary I've ever seen. Yeah, I can tell it's a pseudo by the evolution level. It first evolves at thirty five, then at fifty four. Let me see here. This Pokemon blasts cryogenic air out of its mouth. This air can instantly freeze even liquid hot lava. Eh. <laughs> Alright, now we have the most annoying Pokemon to evolve. Gimme Ghoul into Goldango. Oh, you have no. to go Yeah, you have to go around the map and collect 999 Gimme Ghoul. Okay. This so Jacob, basically. Guy? Yeah. So basically the, the one, one new gimmick with this game is that when you kill Pokemon, you collect like little bits of them. Like fur or nails or whatever, and with Gimme Ghoul, when you kill them, you collect coins. So you have to collect nine hundred and ninety-nine Gimme Ghoul coins so you can evolve this fucker. And what makes it worse is that Gimme Ghoul is not like there's not a spot where you can farm them. You have to go <laughs> all around the map and find like set spawn points to kill them, and they'll randomly respawn in like three to five days. And then the worst part is that once you evolve it. You don't get to keep the coins. It takes all the coins, so you have to start over if you want to evolve a new one. It steals my coins. Wow. What yes. a dick. Yeah, Damn. so we have We have Gimme Ghoul, which is a pure ghost type. Let me see here. This Pokemon was born inside a treasure chest about fifteen hundred years ago. It sucks the life force out of scoundrels who try to steal the treasure. <laughs> Alright. And well, then we What's this little fucker? Wait. Uh wait, do you have is, is, is the roaming? Oh, that's the roaming form. That's just the thing without the treasure chest around it. Alright. <laughs> and then we have Goldango, which is a steel ghost type. Its body seems to be made of a thousand coins. This Pokemon gets along well with others and is quick to make friends with anybody. You get, mm. your, own, you get your own tier. What's this tier? What? <laughs> String cheese fucker. Yeah, you get your own tier. All right, now we have our legendary Pokemon that are not the box legendary. Looks like a pile of garbage. They're all, <laughs> they're all I just wonder a piece what's garbage. Dude, they're all just like a random pe. Yeah. All right, all right. So basically, they're all just a random piece of. A... They're just a random piece of equipment that 
a bunch of garbage compiled around and became a Pokemon. Why would I want that? I don't know. Our first guy he here is Wo Chien, which is a dark grass type. Oh, okay, yeah, by the way, they're all dark types, so yeah. Oh. Dark and evil. It, dra it drains the life force from vegetation, causing nearby forest to instantly wither and fields to turn barren. This motherfucker hates Mother Nature. Damn. This is the only guy that looks like normal. <laughs> yeah, and then we have a uh, Chen Pao, which uh, let's not question why this thing has a uh, teeth. You can go like in all right. That. You look all right. I mean, it's, it's, it's better right. design than the fucking garbage snail. Yeah, earlier. it's dark ice type, and this Pokemon can control a hundred tons of fallen snow. It plays around innocently by leaping in and out of avalanches it has caused. It just, it just looks like an ice cheetah. It's all right. Okay, okay what the well, fuck the thing is with this thing? Pokemon, it, it, it just it kind of invalidates Weavile, because it's Weavile, but better in every way, shape, and form. <laughs> It's now like a, we have like a leopard. All right. We have we have Ting Lu, which is a dark brown type. It's just another uh, pile of garbage. The fear poured into an ancient ritual vessel has clad itself in rocks and dirt to become a Pokemon. Yeah, Game Freaky are not cooking with these ones. And then we have Chi Yu. Hey Jacob, what type do you think Chi Yu is? Which one is Chi Yu? The, the the one you're looking at right now. The next one. Like the little fire guy. Yeah. Uh, Don't tell me it's dark and psychic. Well, I guess he's water type. No, he's dark fire type. Dark fire. Okay. Yeah. Even though he's a fish. See, I, I thought that was a trick question. <laughs> it controls flames burning at over 5,400 degrees Fahrenheit. It casually swims through the sea of lava it creates by melting rocks and sand. That's kind of cool. All right, now we have the the cool paradox Pokemon. We have a Roaring Moon, which is a Salamence, is Dragon Dark. You can be a friend. And we have a Iron Valiant, which is a combination of Gardevoir and Gallade, and it just takes their typing and then kills the Psychic part, so it's fairy fighting. You're going to Power World. Really? Yeah. No? No, no vibes here? Nope. I don't like it. Alright. So I don't know why it has that, but it has them on four legs and two legs, so... Sure. Um, and I probably, first we I'm have. Probably, I don't know if I should rank them both or not. Well, we have Coridon, which is a fighting dragon type, and uh, this, the ecology and other data about this Pokemon are unknown. It was named Coridon by the professor who discovered it. Well, they're box legendary, so by default, I'm gonna put them in game freaky. Also, oh. they also funny story. They have names like. They, you know how you have like Streamtail and them guys? They yeah. have a name like that. So Coridon is called the Winged King, which is badass as hell. That is cool. <laughs> yeah, the fucking Winged King, holy shit. Wing King. Yeah, and then you have uh, the other guy, which is a uh, Maridon, Maridon, which I think is, which looks like a penis. I'm, I'm sorry to say it, but it looks <laughs> like a penis. Yes. It's an electric dragon type, and uh... It was given the name Maridon by the professor who discovered it. Its ecology and other details are unknown. Its characteristics match those of a, of a mysterious object recorded in an old expedition journal known as the Iron Serpent. So yeah, he's called Iron Serpent. That's still pretty Not as cool. decent. We... Alright, All right, so now we have uh, the new paradoxes, which they made uh... paradoxes of the, the three beasts and the Swords of Justice. Bro, I'm sick of these already. <laughs> Well, don't worry, Jacob. Well, don't worry, Jacob. We're almost done. Now we just have the DLC, because these are all DLC mons. Oh, boy. Wonder why some of them are And they're basically almost all legendaries. Um, well, this looks like Suicune. Uh, oh, yeah, that's that's Walking Wake. That's oh, a God, water I dragon type. how stupid that name was. <laughs> and then you have the other guy, which is just Verizian. He's called Iron Leaves. He's Grass Psychic. No. Nope, no vibes here? No. Alright, we have a uh, Driplin. Bro's got Drip. I oh, know, Diplin, Diplin. How bad? Not Driplin. Diplin. What the fuck is this? It, is it Drip? It's fucking the thing from before. Uh, Diplin is two creatures in one Pokemon. Its evolution was triggered by a special apple grown only in one place. Okay, so apparently there's two worms in this apple. And that's its gimmick. 
Uh, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I'm just not impressed. <laughs> it, there's no impressive. There's it's, it's, just a, it's just a fucking apple, bro. All right, we have a Polchi guys, which is a grass ghost type. Mm, no, you're on a power. No world. vibes. No. All right. Supposedly, the regrets of a tea ceremony master who died before perfecting his craft lingered in some matcha and became a Pokemon. Crazy. I don't even like matcha that much. I prefer Earl Grey. <laughs> Damn. And you have a Sinistra. Still grass ghost. And, uh... Nope. Let me see it. It <laughs> pretends to be tea. Trying to fool people into drinking it. It pretends so it to be tea. Life force. Well, you're definitely yeah. going to Palo World then. I'm not fucking drinking you. <laughs> 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 all right we it, have a uh, the little we have these guys which this guy uh, looks kind of cool all right we have a okie dogie okay stupid name aside he looks pretty cool after all its muscle were stimulated by the toxic chain around its neck okie dogie transformed and gained the power okay so basically <laughs> what happened was so basically a pokemon later gave three normal pokemon a power and basically there's been theories of what these Pokemon were. So the the obviously you can tell Okie Dogie was like Ursarang and uh mm. and the uh, and the bird one is like maybe um uh Wind Pheasant. But no one knows what the monkey one is, because that thing does not look like fucking a monkey that we know. The closest thing people have come to was Thwacky. You're going to Power World. Yeah, Thwacky. <laughs> so the second guy, that's Monkey Dory, Poison Psychic. Which is uh I kinda like that name, but he looks dumb, so <laughs> the chain is made from toxins that enhance capabilities. It stimulated the monkey Dory's brain and caused the Pokemon's psychic powers to bloom. And then we have a Pheasantipity and Jacob. So these are all oh poison types, right? Guess what, guess what Pheasantipity's second typing is? So it's poison what? Poison dark? No, yeah. poison fairy. Fuck you. You figured it'd be poison flying because a uh, bird, but no. It's a fairy. I was gonna say normal because for some reason it's all Pokemon right. are fighting the force. Pheasantipity owes its beautiful looks to a lovely voice to the toxic. Wait, Pheasantipity owes its beautiful looks and lovely voice to the toxic stimulants emanating from the chain wrapped around its body. Not bad. All right. All right. It reminds me of the of pheasant. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. It's Ogre Pwn. <laughs> 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 There's no vibes with Ogre Pwn. He's no. not a little guy. No. What the fuck are those things? It's a mask, bro. The fucker wears a mask. And depending on the mask you give it, it has a different typing. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> he's just a little fella, bro. Damn. Nope. That's crazy. <laughs> Dude, he's just a fucking... This uh, next one looks interesting. He's a pure grass type, and depending on the mask, he's either grass fire, grass water, or grass rock. This guy looks a little cooler, though. Yeah. The Pokemon's touch ain't on the other end, whatever. Alright, next up, we have Archaladon, which they literally took a Pokemon from the last generation and gave it an evolution. They took Duraludon's like, let's make it even more of a building. Steel Dragon. He's a friend. Uh, it gathers static electricity from its surroundings. The beams it launches when down on all fours are tremendously powerful. Okay, so when this thing gets on all fours, it looks like a fucking bridge. I know that sounds really stupid, but I kind of fuck with that design. <laughs> yeah. All right, and now we have Hydrapple, which they don't show you this in the picture, but there's like four other dragon heads inside that thing. Eh, all right. Yeah. Wow. Seven serpents live inside an apple made of syrup. The serpent in the center is the commander. Oh, also, these guys have a weird signature move. So it, they have a signature move, and the gimmick with this is that it does a normal amount of damage, but just randomly... Basically, randomly, it can get a crit. Like, I know I, I, that sounds stupid, but basically, it can get, like, a random crit, and then, but that's not an actual crit. You got what I mean? So, like, it could double down on a crit. So, randomly, it'll I mean, do twice as much damage, or what? <laughs> yes, basically. And then, if you get a crit, it'll randomly do four times as much damage. That is what? weird. What? Yeah. Okay. Alright, now we have uh, the other guys. We have a uh, Gouging Fire, Fire Dragon. No. We have Raging Bolt, uh, Electric Dragon. No. <laughs> we have Iron Boulder, Rock Psychic. He looks kind of cool. He, like. he looks kind of cool. Okay. And uh, we have uh, Iron Crown. No. 
<laughs> no. Alright, now we have a Terrapagos. What the hell is this thing? He's a little guy. Mm. And he has three different forms. Mid. Uh, Terrapagos protects itself using its power to transform energy into hard crystals. This Pokemon is the source of the terrestrial phenomenon. Okay, that's a little cooler. I'll give him all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we he turns into a little turtle. Oh yeah, okay. by the way, he's a uh, crystal he's pure turtle. normal type. He's pure normal all the way. You could be a friend. And uh, yeah, and then okay, so basically this guy introduced a whole new uh, um, uh, terra typing, which is basically just terra stellar, where all your moves do more damage. So yeah. Oh wow. And what's this? That's that's what it looks like. That's like the chandelier for Terra Stella, which is just him. It's just a little turtle guy on top. All right. And, and then, then we have our thing. one mythical, which is Petrarch. He looks dumb. Never yeah, seen he... him alive. Yeah, he's the only mythical in the game. You're on Pal World. Well, actually, I think Walking Wake and Iron Leaves are mythicals too, I think, because they're not part of the decks. They're like additions, but I don't know. Basically, let me see here. It feeds others toxic mochi that draw out desires and capabilities. Those who eat the mochi fall under Petra's control, chained to its will. All right, well, uh, I'm going to save this. i got to figure out where the save button went. All right, so. Oh, it's up here. Jake, let, let's look at our list. Let's see, who are our friends? All right, um, I'm going to put an image up real quick. Um, if I can find it. Here. All right. Let's let's have a look. Let's have a look at our tier list. So we got we got the game freaky cooked tier. Which got yeah. we got we got grass cat. We got Fido. Oh yeah. We got. Of course you forgot the names already. I was oh, like, oh no, why do I expect this fucker to remember the name? All right. I, well, if I forget the name, I'm just gonna call them like I'm gonna give them nicknames. We got Fido. We got Bun Bun. We got um. We got Fireman, we got uh, Zeus Bird, we got Palafin Hero, we got uh, Skeladog, we got Claude Sire, uh, Karidon and Maridon. Uh, we got uh, Uki. Is that thing living? What? What? Hold on, hold on. You, you keep going. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Uh, we got Tauros, but he has the pass. We got Wooper, but he has the pass. We got um, Skrillex, the fire crocodile man. We got Quaxley, uh, Quaxwell, Belly Bolt, Cloth, Pinkaton, uh, Dolphin Emulator, uh, Dead Dog Man, Flamigo Annihilate, uh, Dudun Sparse, <laughs> um, Sword Head Man. Uh, Hydreigon, Volcarona, Tyranitar, uh, Salamance, uh, Bridgeman, uh, Crystal Turtle, uh, that's for, that's all for friend tier, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Honestly, Jacob, in your opinion, do they cook this gen a, a lot or no? Nope. <laughs> Not a lot of cooks here. Um, in, I mean, hey, you got a lot of friends. We got a lot of friends, yeah. Friends, we got, what, like... Um... How many is that, like, maybe 20? 20 friends? It's not bad. I still find it funny when you got to Tandem House, and you just silently made a new tier called What the Fuck, because you were so horrified by the design. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, and I mean, we have It's Alright, we got, um, Ursa Ring, we got, um, Mexican Crocodile, we got, um, Dancer Quack, we got Lechonk, we got uh, Beetle Throwing Hands, we got uh, Tree Hands Man, we got Fire Beetle, we got Bird, we got Dog Man, we got Not Tentacruel, uh, where the fuck that thing is, uh, Worm, <laughs> uh, definitely not Tic Tac Man from Yoshi's Island, uh, Steelfish, uh, Don Fan. Uh, Jacob, I think you should name the Pokemon Next Generation. <laughs> what am I gonna name them? You're naming them right now. Yeah, well, when Gen 10 comes out, we can do another list and I can name them again. Uh, we got Volcarona. Yeah, God knows if you're gonna play Gen 10 or not. Probably not. 
Uh, we got um, Diego from Ice Age. Diego, hold on, hold on, rewind. Who the fuck's Diego? Diego from Ice Age. Yeah, who's Diego? Like, which one uses Diego? Uh, the Ice Panther dude. <laughs> uh, we got a uh, fish. We got um, Fairy Bird. Ah. We got um, that one fucker from Gen Five that I forgot the name of. Uh, we got uh, Crystal Guy. Which fucker? Which fucker from Gen Five? Uh, the big guy. Uh, uh, Verizion? About oh Terrakion, Terrakion. Maybe. Yeah, Terrakion, they all yeah. they all end with Eon, so I forgot their names. Uh, we got Cat. Well, have... We got Grassy Cat. Yeah. We got uh, Tomato Man. We got Pigs. We got um, Winnie the Pooh looking at. We got uh, Sugar Cube Man Small Edition. Sugar Cube Big Edition. We got uh, Charcoal. We got um, Fruit Fly. We got um, Solar Psychic Poop. We got a uh, bird, bird up. We got uh, bird it up. we got little car. We got um, tic tac. We got uh, we got Don Bozo. I forgot his name for it. Don Dozo. No, he's no Don Bozo. We got uh, we got giraffe raffarag. We got um, we got dra dragon apple. We got um, we got rule thirty four. We got, uh... Hey, wait, wait, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> uh, that's what the cat's not... called. Oh. We got, uh... Um... Is that why you put him down there? Because you've seen too much of it? Yeah. Unfortunately. Uh, we got, uh, Fluffy Bug. We got, um... Cool Bug. <laughs> we got, uh... You're struggling. We got, You're struggling. Nice we got, um... Uh, Shit Bug. <laughs> <laughs> we got um we got Help him, guys he's struggling. We got honey bear. We got uh dancer thing. We got uh the fucking parrot from Ace Attorney. Uh we got sugar cube man. <laughs> we got a dog not tentacool. Um sneezy pepper Satan Little uh guy. Satan, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Who's Satan? The fucking, Satan? the fucking pepper dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Valium Satan. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> yep. We got uh Tinka Tinka dude. We got a uh, wiener. We got three wieners. We got bootleg Yoshi over here. We got um orange fish, raspberry fish, pea fish. Uh, robot Don Fan, Robot Del Bells, um, Robot Del oh, Deli Bird, Deli Bell. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, we got Grabby Hands. We got um, L Blue Yoshi. We got a uh, Robot Guy. We got um, yeah. Sweet Coon, but bad. Uh, Verizon like on Wi-Fi, but bad. I didn't even like Sweet Coon to begin with. I thought Sweet Coon was like, like the worst one of the of the three beasts. Um, yeah. Uh, we got um, Matcha Man. We got uh, Get the Fuck Away from Britain. We got uh, Monkey. Wait, 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 wait. Who the fuck's Get the Fuck Away from Britain? That that tea thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from my people. How dare yeah, you try away. to imitate my people? We got we got monkey, and then we have um. It just looks like she earphones. All right, we got, and now we have what the fuck tier. We have the Sanrio no. mice. We have Mr. Bean. Uh, we have uh, semen bulb. <laughs> semen bulb. Uh, we got um, fucking uh, uh, cancer. Cancer? <laughs> wait, 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 who's Cancer? <laughs> that, <laughs> that bug thing? Oh. Uh, we have Tumbleweed, we have, uh, Not, not Funny Didn't Laugh in Incarcerated. Not Funny Didn't Laugh Incarcerated. We have, uh, we have Doodoo -doo Bug. We have, um, A&W. <laughs> uh, we what? have, uh, This Is Not a Pokemon. These both aren't Pokemon, and we have, just... uh, and then we have Jigglypuff, but decided to be, uh, decided to grow her hair out for some reason. Uh, My screen is... We have uh, Among Us, but he's weird looking. He's bootleg. We have uh, Miss Drevis, totally. 
We have a Magneton, but he's got legs for some reason. We have um, little shit. We have uh, yeah, we have bigger Yoshi. We have um, Mimic. We got Mimic. Um, we got Mimic. The treasure chest. Oh, <laughs> Mimic. Uh, we have um, Nerd Emoji. We have uh, Trash Snail. Uh, trash Face. Um, actual Apple. Four big retards. Four big retards. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, four big retards. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, this guy is trying to be Ante, but he's got a fucking pineapple on his head. He's um, monkey. This guy's got a big neck, and this guy, uh, he's just I don't know. And then we have a uh, string cheese fucker. <laughs> string cheese Very fucker. Scary yeah. The there, yeah. There, there's the. So there you go. Uh, I described all of the Pokemon from Gen Nine. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yep. This is uh, a factual tier list. If any of you disagree, you you're wrong. Yeah. If and, you if you uh, disagree, then um I get to name all the Gen Ten Pokemon. If you, if you don't think that thing down there is the string cheese fucker? You're absolutely incorrect. He, yeah, he is the string cheese fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what I thought he was. Only to find out, no, he's made of gold. <laughs> you, wait, you know? you, wait, hold on, hold on, hold the fuck up. You actually thought he was made of string cheese? Yeah, I did. And I kept seeing him, I was like, why the fuck does everybody like this stupid string cheese thing? And then what, did like, and Aaron I, tell you, no you dumb fuck, that's gold. I don't remember when I, I learned it was gold. was gold. I think I found out during a random Pokemon video. Well, because here's did the you... thing. I played, okay, for context, I played um, Showdown a lot with Zeppi, and he kept picking that stupid thing. And I was like, why do you keep picking the fucking string cheese Pokemon? And then I think he told me, like, bro, that's gold. And I was like, that is not gold, dude. <laughs> And he's like, you, you dumb fuck, that's gold. I don't know what the kind of gold, what kind of string cheese you've been eating recently. I think you should go call a doctor. Yeah, <laughs> no wonder I got sick. <laughs> yeah, damn. No wonder I have a brain. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what, what nutritional benefits gold has, Jacob. Um, tastes like butter. That's Jacob's review of gold. Mm, yeah. Tastes like butter. Mm, butter. I think, no, I, I, think can't, have I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> And then the gold is uh, impacting your brain functions, Jacob. Yeah, hey, I, I did a pretty good job uh, ranking these guys. Um, yeah, I'd say one successful. Yeah, it was successful, and now I'm starving, so I want to go. So uh, yeah, th thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> I will. I, maybe I'll rank Gen Eight, even though I know most of the Gen Eight mons because I actually played that game. So I don't know if I probably. I don't know if I should rank Gen Eight. No, I don't think we should rank Gen 8. You know what we could do, Jacob? What? There's a website where, you know, like those websites where you have to name everything of a certain thing, like name every football player, name every president, whatever. Oh, you want me to name every Pokemon? Yeah. That's, that's a <laughs> Just, good idea. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do that for a stream, and it, we're, we won't help you. We'll just watch you do it <laughs> and laugh. Oh, rank Mario yeah. enemies? That's also a good idea. Rank all what? Rank all the Mario enemies. Rank all Mario enemies. We, we don't even know. All I thought you did that already. So much. Um, I don't think I did. I don't think I ranked. I, I mean, maybe I can look on my channel and see what rankings I did real quick mm -hmm. before I go make lunch. Uh, Do you have a see. playlist of them? Um, well, I have a I have like a ranking slash tier list playlist. Let's see. I, um, let me let me start I from still... the bottom. I still think our uh, Smash Bros. reveal trailer chills is one of our favorite things we've done. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's see. I did a Mario Mario levels tier list, like for Mario 1. I did, um, I ranked, I compared all of Superstar Saga's music compared to the remake, and I said which ones I like better. Which ones did you like better? I don't know, go watch it. It's three hours. Have fun. <laughs> Fuck no. you! Uh, I did, <laughs> no. I I did uh, Mario Kart Wii tier lists. Mario 64 uh, levels tier list, Robot Master tier list for Mega Man, uh, Neptunia Rebirth 3 character tier list, um, ranking every Sonic game, which, uh, okay. yeah, even though I've never played like half the Sonic games. Well, thank uh, you. Do you have Aaron in that video? Because Aaron would have just shat all over it. Nah, Jose was there. Uh, we have ranking every Mario Kart 8 Deluxe character, which is outdated now, by the way, because I did that like two years ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, 
A group of dorks rank every Smash Bros. reveal trailer. <laughs> How many views does that have? 42. Aw. Ranking Mario Kart tracks with friends. Ranking every Fire Emblem waifu. Ranking every oh. Pokemon waifu. No. And ranking every Toho waifu. And that's, those are my rankings recently. And then... And then we're gonna add a uh, ranking every Gen 9 Pokemon. That's the yeah, new one. Yeah, that, that'll be this one. Ranking every Zack... Wait, alright, wait. Ranking every Zack. Bring Zack for <laughs> ranking <laughs> Mario. <laughs> nah, okay. nah, Jacob. So, going back to the naming Pokemon. So, me personally, I think Gen 1 through 4, I can do flawlessly. Like, I can name every single one, no problem. Yeah. Uh, you get to Gen 5. Gen 5. I'm Gen 5, I'm still confident. There might be one or two that, like, fucked me up at first, but I think I got it. But then you get to Gen 6, and, uh, oof. That's, oof, when it all oh, no. That's when it falls apart. Although I do know Gen 7 pretty well, because I love that. I game. don't, I Gen don't 7. know Gen 7. I would die at Gen 7. Gen 7, I would do it, and I fucking died. I think Gen 9's the only one I don't know, because I haven't completed Gen 9. I've completed every other generation. So you know, that would you know, that'll be a, that'll be a know, great idea. We yeah. should, we should each do a video where... Like, I, I go first, where, like, I rank, I, like, see Heimer, all the Pokemon. Yeah, I'll, yeah, we can just make that a whole series. We each try and name every <laughs> single Pokemon. Yeah, I don't know like, if, I don't like, know if we should be there for that, though. Like, I, maybe, like, I should do one by myself, and then, um, like, I'll do one with you, Seb, I'll do one with you, Luke, and then, uh, I'll do one with Aaron, maybe. Yeah, that'd be it. Anyway, you're gonna do it with Luke, Jacob? You think Luke can even get through Gen 1? I don't know. He, he's obsessed with you Pokemon, type, bro. Well, I so okay. Here's the thing. I can't type because I can't see. Well, don't That's type. Well, just, he, just tell me. Well, well, yeah. There's no. Well, here's the thing. There's no picture. Uh, yeah, I can do Gen One. I know. I've seen the website before, well, Luke. There's no, I said there's a no... Pokemon. Whoops. It'd also I be interesting to see how we go about it, because like yeah. some people might just be like, "I'm gonna name all the starters," or other people are gonna be like. I'm gonna name all the legendaries. Some people will go, let me go Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4. You know, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like, Jacob, what will your strategy be for it? What if I do them in, like, a random order? <laughs> I, 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 would, I would go from Gen 1 to Gen... until we get to Gen 2. And then I'll probably go with Gen 5, because I know that a lot. And Jacob's if like, I don't remember any of that, I just... Find do random. As I think it'd be funny. I think it'd be funny if I did it in a random order. <laughs> Jacob's like, fuck it. Who needs strategy? I can do. I can do that shit at random. Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah. like it'll show me Pikachu, and then it'll show me one of those fuckers from Scarlet and Violet. I'll be like, ah. Uh. <laughs> wait. Oh wait, no, no, Jacob. That's not how the website works. Basically, the website is it's one big ass spreadsheet with um with numbers like you know like the numbers one three one thousand twenty five. You type the name of the Pokemon. The picture appears out of there, so there's no like frame or reference for picture. You just have to remember their existence. Oh well, I suck at that. I was hoping like you show me a picture and I have to name the Pokemon. I mean, oh, I can fuck, I can oh, do that. No. I mean, you could probably well, I could probably find that for you too. Just like, just like yeah. it shows you a picture and be like, name this Pokemon. Yeah. See, that's what I wanted like, to do. I wanted to do like, you know, I want to do it in like a random order and just like see a picture of Pokemon. I have to know the name of it. So no. yeah, I know what you mean though. We'll see if that exists. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna go make lunch. So uh, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> All right, see ya. All right, see ya. I'm gonna yeah. get to. All right. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. That was a lot of fun, guys. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch if you enjoyed. And um, still no message from Jose. I, I guess I'll see if he's down for Silent Hill 2 later. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then.